Hi and welcome back to Batty.com. Today we're going to show you how to replace the faceplate on this 1986 through 1989 air conditioning controller. Um, this came with cars that had the electronic climate control option that is uh, that's C68 RPO code. Supplies we need to do this job are the air conditioning controller, a new faceplate kit. You can get this from Batty.com. I also have a flat blade screwdriver, an X-Acto knife, some thick super glue, and some super glue accelerator to help the glue cure. The problem we're trying to fix today is several of these buttons are just not working, uh, namely the cooler and the warmer buttons. Uh, have worn out. Also, we've got some, uh, it, this unit's pretty crusty, and some of these buttons down on the bottom kind of feel like they're sticking. Um, really, our, our goal today is just to replace the entire faceplate, uh, plus all of the buttons, and to make the buttons work again, and to make it look like new. So our first step is to disassemble the unit. The way we do that is with a flat blade screwdriver. We will remove the metal clips, one on each side. They just slide off. And next, we will gently pull the face plate away from the logic board. Take your time with this. Use the screwdriver if you need it. Eventually, they will separate. Okay. There we go. That's what it looks like when they're apart. Okay, and we'll set this off to the side so we can work on this. The factory faceplate is um, really kind of melted in place with these plastic rivets on the back side. And so we're going to very gently, without scratching any of the traces on the board, use our X-Acto knife to lift away the plastic that's holding the faceplate in place. A lot of these are broken, which is the reason why the switches aren't working. The plastic rivets also hold the switch contacts in place. The new faceplate kit will come with new plastic to hold it to hold itself in place so we don't have to worry about damaging the plastic on the old part. Again we want to be very gentle and not cut traces on the board. There are many of these rivets. We're just going to take our time, trim them all away. What I'm doing is sliding the edge of the knife blade underneath and lifting up. And for the most part, the head of the plastic rivets is just popping away. Okay, we'll turn it around and work on the other two rows. Really about half of these have snapped away already. When we have freed up all of the plastic rivets, the board will lift away. We'll set that aside. So we can see why some of these switches weren't working. 
uh, the plastic rivets help hold those pads in place and since the plastic rivets were were missing these had slid to the sides and we've got some sort of crusty materials that have that have accumulated on the board over time we'll also uh, need to clean those off before we put it back together All right, recording it's wide enough to get the uh, light bulbs on the left okay alright we're ready go mm -hmm. that's recording still okay excellent so I have removed the light bulbs um, so that we can get better access to the circuit board and I have a paper towel with some alcohol applied. And I'm just going to take and clean these contact these board contacts very gently to remove any soda pop residue or dog hair or whatever it is that's built up on this board. And again, we have two rows of switches, one row on the bottom one row sort of in the middle here. We're going to make sure to clean them all. Alright, and while it's apart I will take some glass cleaner and very gently clean the vacuum fluorescent display. This is uh, a this is a vacuum tube so you want to be very careful with it. In particular you don't want to disturb the seal on the left edge here. Just don't touch it at all. After everything dries, we'll take some compressed air, Oops, clean away any dust. Next we're going to open up the faceplate kit. This is what we get with the new faceplate kit. It does not include any electronics. Uh, it only includes buttons, including these pressure sensitive buttons, including the new rubber pieces. And it has new plastic posts to hold it in place. Um, one, of the reasons, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is that it comes with absolutely no instructions whatsoever. So I wanted to show you how how we do this here at the Batty.com shop. Um, I am placing these buttons. Okay, so this is exactly how it should look before we start assembling it. Next, we're going to need to fit the circuit board to the new plastic. Unfortunately, the new plastic is not an exact mold of the old plastic. Um, and all of the little rivet points are not in exactly the right places. So it looks like um, all of these posts uh, fit the factory locations except for this row of four holes. We're going to need to expand the hole in the circuit board at each of these locations. The way we do that is we just take our X-Acto knife. We're very careful not to get anywhere near the traces on the circuit board but I'm trimming away the fiberglass circuit board a little bit at a time to try to make this fit Again, we want to look at both sides of the board to make sure that we are not trimming away any of the trace. The third one from the left is fairly, fairly close to traces on the circuit board, so just be very careful. Do this slowly.
Okay, it took quite a bit of trimming, but uh, I was able to get all of these pins to poke through the circuit board in the right places. Um, the circuit board now fits flush against the faceplate. Okay, so this is what these switches should look like when they're positioned properly. Something about this isn't fitting right. So we're going to take a break here and we're going to find out why. Okay. So it turns out that uh, there was a piece of rubber flashing from the new switch panel that was preventing everything from going back into shape. So this is what the, the long switch strip should actually look like. If yours has the flashing on it, just peel it away. Place. And reassemble. That now fits nice and flush. I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> okay. Again, we'll try the switches to make sure they feel right. When we're convinced that everything fits properly, we'll take our super glue and on each one of the heads of the rivets, I'm actually going to peel this piece of paper away. For each one of the rivets, we'll take some of the thick super glue. I realize I just moved that. and we'll cover the head of the rivet. We don't want to put so much on there that it runs. We simply want to want to hold the new plastic panel in place. When we have covered all the visible rivets, we're going to cover the electrical contacts and we're going to spray some of the super glue accelerator. After the glue set, I have removed the tape and we're going to fill in the rivets where the tape was. Again, just a drop. We'll cover the important things and spray with the accelerator to let that glue go ahead and set. And here we see the finished product. We'll wipe any glue or accelerator residue away. We'll test each of those buttons. They feel good. So at this point, it looks great. It's got brand new buttons in place, and we can go ahead and put it back together. All right, recording. Okay. We'll gently press it into place. We'll install the metal clips. Next, we'll test our work. I'm going to leave the protective plastic in place for this customer which is why it still looks a little bit mottled in these areas, but this is a brand new panel. 
The buttons are brand new. Everything looks and feels new. We're just going to test the buttons to make sure they work. They, we can see that they result in a change in the position of the blend door motor. So this unit is working as it should. The manual buttons work. The auto button works. Off. Auto. Buy level. Economy. Heater. Defrost. External temperature. And rear defrost all work. So we have fixed the unit. Thank you so much for watching another Batty.com video. We love making these videos for you. Again, you can go to Batty.com. That's, that's B-A-T-E-E.com for the parts and the instructions on performing this repair yourself. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here soon.